In an earlier video I made on YouTube, I showed you how to shoot and edit videos on your phone. Well, the edit part of it is kind of obsolete now because the app doesn't work anymore. So I wanted to redo that and show you how to edit videos on your phone for free, applicable on both Android and iPhone. So are you ready? Hey Go Getter, I'm Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the foundational course for building your personal brand with video. If you want to increase your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube, hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. Now in this, how to edit your videos on phone for free, I'm going to use a free app called InShot. It is remarkably powerful and it has both a free and a paid version. So let's get started. All right, so step number one is to download InShot. If you're on Android, get it from the Play Store. If you are on Apple, then get it from the App Store. Step number two is to film your video. Now, if you're using your phone to film your video, which is a great way to get started, there are two ways that you could film your video. One is that you could film it in sections and film each section separately and then use the InShot app to add in all of those sections and make it a full video. Or the other way, which actually I prefer doing, is to film it all in one go, but then use visual markers to differentiate between the sections so it makes it easier to edit the videos. Now, here's how I do it and I'm just gonna show you how, right? So I have this piece of tissue in my hand and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually film the video. So I'm gonna go to my camera and I'm typically, I mean, if I was doing this for real, I would do it in landscape first of all and go switch to video mode. Okay, landscape. And then the other thing I would do, I would use a tripod and a mic for this, right? But right now I just wanna show you real quick. So you're gonna film the video. I'm gonna press record. Okay, and now I'm gonna film the first section. So I'm gonna say this is the hook and I'm filming the hook, right? So I'm gonna say this is the hook section, yada, 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 okay? And then I'm gonna hold up either uh, a white paper or you can do a tissue or you can do a hand gesture, something to show that this is where the next transition is gonna take place. So now I'm gonna say, okay, now the title is going to go over here. And then after the title is done, I'm gonna hold this again. And then I'm gonna say, okay, now the first point. So I'm gonna say, okay, the first point of the video is X, Y, Z, blah, 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 yada, yada, whatever. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this up here again. Three seconds, bring it down, three seconds, and then start. Okay, now point number two is going to be, this is this, this is what the video is gonna contain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and then holding it up again, three seconds, bring it back down, three seconds, and I'm gonna be, okay, now this is gonna be the CTA, the call to action, go watch this video next, subscribe, download, etc., and then stop. Okay, so in case you're still wondering, the reason for doing the tissue thing is so that I have a visual marker. Otherwise, I would have to listen to every minute of content to know what part to edit. But using the tissue, or you can use a hand gesture, or you can, just literally you can hold still for three seconds and do some kind of gesture to visually demarcate where the edit points need to be. Okay, so now we're gonna go into InShot and I've opened the app up here and I'm going to click on video. I'm gonna click on new and I'm going to select the video that I just shot on my phone, which is this one, one minute, three seconds. And I'm going to click the green check button here. Now, the entire video is showing here. And one of the first things that I'm going to do is change the layout of this. You can see it's in portrait mode right now. I'm gonna change the layout into 16 by nine because that is the format for a YouTube video. So I'm gonna go into canvas and I'm going to choose 16 by nine and check this. Okay, now the next thing I can do is choose the exact frame that I want to show in my video. So let's say that I want to show a closer or a wider frame. So I can go again into canvas and pinch to zoom or I can use this slider. So I can pinch like this and show a close up. So you can actually use this effect to zoom in and out in your videos when you need to have special emphasis on certain things. And you can use the slider to do the exact same thing as well, right? So those are the, now your video is set. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to color correct the entire video. So I want to color correct it for making sure it's nice and clear and bright looking. So what I can do is go into the filters 
and I can choose from these filter effects and I can also choose from these funny effects and I can also go into adjust and actually adjust the lightness, contrast, hue, warmth, all of those. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to increase the brightness a little bit. I'm going to increase the contrast quite a bit. You can see it makes a good bit of difference there. I'm going to increase the warmth so not look so pale. And I'm going to go into saturation, increase that just a smidge. All right, and I'm also going to reduce some shadows here, like so. And the highlight, let's just adjust that. All right, now I'm going to go into filter and I'm going to apply a natural... Okay, that looks good, a dew filter, okay? So I'm gonna click the checkbox and now my video is color corrected to how I need it to be. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to trim our video. This section is what I like to call the content edit. So in this section, you're gonna take out all the content that you don't want in the video. Any mistakes, any filler content, all of that gone. So you are left with the chunks of video that you actually want to keep. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using the split function. I'm gonna show you some other ways, but first we're gonna start with the split function. So the reason for doing the whole uh, visual marker thing is now I don't, instead, I don't need to actually watch the video, I can just see, oh, here's where I held up the tissue. So I can split here. So I'm gonna to go to split and you can see that there's a white line, it split the video. Now I'm gonna see where I come back after and so it's really easy to know where to make those edits. Now this section, you can see these two sections are the splits. If I choose this, it's showing me that this is the section and I can do various things with it. So the first section is an eight second. This, the section I wanna take out is six seconds and then the video continues 48 seconds after that. So the six second one is the irrelevant part. So what I'm gonna do is delete that part. So I'm gonna click on delete and it's gone. So it's makes editing filler and mistakes and stuff really easy. I'm gonna go and do that for all of the remaining sections, which I don't want. I'm gonna go look for the white um, tissue in that and go split, come out of that and split and again, delete. And I think there are a couple more instances of that. So split, select that and delete. And the last one, split, split, select that and delete. Okay, now I have a clean video. It's 44 seconds long now. So you can see that from that one minute something chunk, I took out a workable content edit. So there are various ways that you can actually uh, content edit your video. And in InShot, you can, apart from using the split function, you can also use trim. So if I click on trim, you can see that I can edit the beginning or the end of each section. I can also use cut, which means that I can cut a middle section out of the video. So that's also very handy. And of course, I can also split. You can see this green marker, split it anywhere. So those are the three ways to do a content edit inside InShot. Another cool thing that you can do inside InShot is to add transitions between your sections. Let me show you how to do that. So all the places where you've split your video, you can see there's a little pencil icon there. You click on this and you can choose from the basic transitions. So fade, fade to black, um, circular and move from left, right, all of these basic transitions you can use. Um, the super and the glitch transitions are in the pro plans. So you need to pay for those, but honestly speaking for YouTube videos, just the basic transitions are good enough. So we're gonna do a um, transition and you can also choose how long that transition takes to go into effect. So we're gonna actually do a, let's do one second. Okay, and see how it looks. So I'm gonna play the video. And you can see that little transition happened over there, right? So the other thing I wanna show you is during those transitions, you can actually put in text or you can just put text on screen as the video is playing. So let's do that next. So I'm gonna go into text and I'm gonna type in whatever text you want here. So let's say uh, you wanna talk about point number one. And the things that you can do with text is that you can resize this, but first, Let's go into 
where it says A, and you can see that these are all the different fonts that you can use, right? So let's choose one font from here, and then you can customize the look and feel of this text box. So let's choose the background as, ooh, that's nice, like that. You can also select the opacity, shadow, you can put a border around it, whatever, let's not do that. All right, and you can also make the text appear in a transition. So you can click on this transition button here and decide how the text is gonna show up. So again, lots and lots of options, and I'm gonna click check. And one more thing I wanna do is resize this a little bit here. So let's click on this, click on the pencil icon to edit this and we can move this around. So it can be 0.1 that comes right there. So that's a nice way to add text to your videos and add a transition with the text as well. The other thing you can do is you can elongate this arrow here to show how long the text should stay. So it depends on um, what part is relevant, but this is totally in your control. Okay, next, let's add some music. Now, I do use music very cautiously in my YouTube videos. So uh, if you're talking, then you probably don't want music. But if you are showing something or there's B-roll or maybe in your end cards, you want to add a little bit of music, you can do that using InShot. You can add your own music or actually I like some of the tracks that they already have. So you want to go into music and click on tracks and choose something from here. So if I go into some of these tracks, I can play them. Let's say light. It'll start to play. Let me put the volume back up. Or intro. Right? And then you click on this little pink download arrow and then converts into use and you can put that into. And now you can um, decide whether you want the music track to play for the entire length of your video or you can just click on edit and decide that it, can, it should only play, let's say, for the last... Um, a couple of seconds. And you can also change the volume of the music. So let's put that to around 50%. And there we go. So now we have this little section of music in our video. All right, the next thing I want to show you using uh, InShot is how to create a static image. Now, you want to have a static image so you can put text on it. You can use it as a transitionary element, um, any kind of way that you want to do that, right? So I'm going to insert an image here. So let's come out of this. Okay, what I want to do is say, I'm going to click plus. I'm going to say blank, okay? And what I want to do with this blank is I want to put a background here. So I'm going to go here and let's choose a purple background. Now I'm going to put this in and I can move this section, this background section to anywhere between the video clips. So I can actually have this as the transition and I can show section headers or text on this. I can even use this as a title. In fact, I made an entire video on how to use InShot to make a free animated intro or a title for your videos. I'll link to that up here. You can go watch that. Okay, so let's come out of here. And then again, you can just put text on this. Add text. This is section one. So this is how it would play. I'm going to hold this up here again. Right, and you can adjust the timing of that as well. Start. So okay, that's a really, really good way to make sure that you have all of these transitions and sections and text and all of that happening inside your videos. All right, so we're done with the video. And we're going to export this file next. So we're going to click on Save save and then it's going to give us three options 1080p 720 and 640 so i would choose 1080p for upload to youtube okay so while it's converting the video let me tell you some of the downsides of using inshot as your video editor so one of the ones is that it doesn't handle overlays so you can't actually put one video file over another over another right uh, 
It's not really something you'd want to do with basic videos, but just to let you know, it doesn't handle overlays. There is a limited font selection. So just the fonts that I showed you are the ones that you can use. You can't really add your own fonts and you can't really add any other Google fonts or anything to that. Any fancy effects or transitions that you want to use are in the pro plan. So they're not in the free basic plan. So if you really want fancy transitions and you're really doing those kind of videos, then the free plan might not work for you. And how much is the free plan? So it starts off with $349 per month and it's $1199 per year. And the pro features basically give you more filters, more stickers, and more transitions. So that's what you get in the pro plan. But honestly, I find that the free plan is a really powerful video editor for your phone. And the fact that you can use it for free, you can use it on both Android and iPhone devices, I think really packs a punch. So my question for you today is what mobile video editor are you going to use? And will you give InShot a try? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so the video is done uh, processing and now the only thing that remains is to upload it to YouTube, which I'm going to walk you through in this video right here. And if you are wondering how to add animated intros and watch the previous video that I made on how to add animated intros using InShot right here. I'll see you in the next video.